1953, a small company consisting of just three people developed a product that was destined to play a major role in everything, from the space program to the modern household. It was called WD-40. WD, which stands for water displacement, 40, because today's highly successful formulation was conceived at the 40th attempt. The WD-40 story began back in the early 50s, at the time of the conquest of Everest, the dawn of rock and roll, the four-minute mile, when a young chemist called Norm Larsen, backed by two extremely shrewd investors, developed a range of rust-resisting maintenance products for use in the aerospace industry. From those early beginnings, their rocket chemical company, based in San Diego, California, went from strength to strength. Initially, WD-40 was designed for use by Convair, a division of General Dynamics, who used the product to protect NASA's Atlas missile and aircraft skins. However, it was not long before workers began taking the product home and discovering a multitude of other uses. In addition to its industrial uses, clearly a major consumer market also existed, especially as the product was now in an aerosol can. Then, in a decade which saw men circle the moon, Beatlemania, and the assassination of President Kennedy, a major disaster played its role in shaping WD-40's history. In 1961, Hurricane Carla devastated the coast of Florida. Immediately, the entire contents of Rocket Chemicals Warehouse were dispatched to the area to help restore equipment and recondition water-damaged vehicles. The same decade also witnessed considerable unrest in many parts of the globe. Again, WD-40's unique ability for getting rid of moisture and preventing rust and corrosion proved invaluable in maintaining guns and pistols and keeping military equipment and vehicles operating dependably. Throughout the 60s, sales rose meteorically, so it seemed only fitting at the beginning of the 70s, with sales pushing $3 million, that the Rocket Chemical Company should be renamed after its highly successful product, WD-40. Just two years later, in 1973, WD-40 went public, and the money raised was used to build new offices. 23 employees were now managing sales, marketing, manufacturing and distribution throughout the world. And sales were $10.4 million. In 1976, a new office opened in Ontario. And in 1978, when the company celebrated its 25th anniversary, sales were also $25 million. And WD-40 set its sights firmly on global expansion. To this end, in 1985, a new European headquarters opened in Milton Keynes, England, to handle the UK, Europe and Africa. An Australian subsidiary began operations for Australia and the Pacific Rim in 1988. And in the mid-90s, offices also opened in Germany, Malaysia, France and Spain. During that period, the company also bought 3-in-1 and introduced a new product called Tau5 into some of its markets. By now, the sales chart looked something like this. And WD-40 had become a truly global organization, run by just 148 employees. Today, WD-40 is one of the biggest success stories of the century. Ranked in the top 100 American brands, it is listed among the top 10 most profitable companies on the NASDAQ exchange, is found in four out of every five American households, is used by over 81% of industrial and trade consumers, sells over 1 million cans a week in the US alone, and is distributed in over 115 countries. WD-40 is a secret formula made up from a variety of different mineral oils. The recipe is known only to three people and cannot be broken down precisely even through the very latest spectrum radiography. The formula has remained the same since its invention, apart from changing the propellant to CO2 to eliminate VOCs and the addition of an aromatic to improve the smell. Often imitated, never duplicated. WD-40's unique formulation offers five basic functions. 
it displaces moisture. Where there is moisture present, WD-40 will displace it, then create a protective barrier between moisture and the metal surface. Being a non-conductor of electricity, WD-40 quickly eliminates short circuits caused by moisture and gets rid of moisture in everything from ignition systems to electrical components. It also penetrates. WD-40's ultra-high surface attraction results in a super-penetrating action that loosens rust to metal bonds and frees stuck or rusted metal parts. The lubricating properties of WD-40 then keep the parts working freely. It lubricates. WD-40's ultra-high surface attraction ensures that its lubricating ingredients are widely dispersed and firmly fixed to all moving parts. What's more, WD-40 contains no silicon or other additives to attract dust and dirt and cause a buildup of gummy, greasy residues. It protects. After driving out moisture, WD-40's corrosion-resistant ingredients coat the entire surface area, creating a protective barrier that shields against both moisture and other corrosive elements. It cleans. WD-40's unique formulation also enables it to loosen dirt, grime, grease and oil to clean the surface and form a corrosion-resistant barrier. It also breaks down the bonds in most adhesives. Depending on the task in hand, WD-40 can be applied by spray, by brush, by dipping, But whichever way it's applied, WD-40 is solving problems all over the world. For example, WD-40 is used extensively in manufacturing units across the globe as a maintenance and lubricating spray. It also has a number of more unusual large-scale industrial uses. It's also vital for keeping military weapons and equipment operating efficiently. Surprisingly, given that WD-40 was developed for use in the aerospace industry, the product is widely used in the aircraft industry on everything from the overhaul of jet engines to maintenance on undercarriage assemblies. It's also a vital ingredient of the space program. The properties of WD-40 mean it's invaluable to farmers. essentials of tools of the trade for all kinds of workmen and women. Today, more than ever, WD-40 also plays an invaluable role in starting, maintaining and protecting automobiles.
and marine craft. The penetrating lubrication and corrosion inhibiting abilities of WD-40 make it an excellent product for leisure pursuits and vital to a multitude of sports. Cyclists, in particular, benefit from the unique properties of WD-40. And apart from cleaning, degreasing, lubricating and protecting bikes from rust and corrosion, it also removes stickers. Last, but certainly not least, there are also a thousand and one uses for WD-40 in the home, garden. It's amazing what a little cow can do. So why don't you try it yourself? Once you try it, we guarantee you'll find you can use it for all sorts of things. And of course, you may well discover another use.